Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and into my home. So today we're talking about routines and specifically how I'm rearranging my routines to add in time for exercise and diet. I'm week three into my liver detox and repair and this week is vegan week and it is the peak of detoxing. So I'm consuming a handful of supplements plus a bunch of shakes. So and since I've made this important change to my life, I need to go ahead and fit it into my routines. So today I'm sharing with you how I rearrange my day to fit in my routines. So number one is finding a time slot of when you want to put in your new routine. So I have a morning, afternoon, and an evening time slot. Now, when it comes to exercise, I went ahead and I put that high on the list because in my life, the most important things that I need to get done are usually done in the morning. That's when I'm most alert and when I'm most focused, and that's just the best time for me. You know, if I leave my house without completing my morning tasks, that it's very iffy if I'm going to come home rearing and ready to get them done. So I really try to get my morning routine done before I walk out that door. So this morning I'm in the kitchen cleaning dishes from food prepping that I've been doing. This is another task that I've had to fit into my routines. It's super important because if it's not done, I'm going to go hungry. No longer can I go dig into the grandkids snacky drawer to hold me over. So anyways, I prefer my breakfast and my lunch to be a simple, easy to grab foods like maybe um, pre-made salads or um, I food prep veggie soup or... Um, a vegan type chili um, and I go ahead and I just make those and I stick them in the refrigerator and we grab them you know in the afternoon um, morning time as we need but in the evening I do enjoy making more of a home-cooked meal for Michael and I oh by the way he's also doing vegan week with me so it's super nice to be able to enjoy these vegan meals together so anyways if you're following me over on Instagram I've been sharing all those meals and the recipes with you each night
I don't typically start out my morning with all these dishes on my counter, but um, today's the exception. Now I'm soaking these apples in a little bit of vinegar and some water, um, try to pull off you know, pesticides and waxes. Um, anyways, I'm gonna continue just cleaning on in the kitchen, um, getting things put away. Um, um, pink Himalayan salt, do you use this? I really love pink Himalayan salt. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the salt container. And if you see that Celtic salt back there in the background, that stuff is really, really good for you. Um, a lot of people will put some in water and then drink it throughout the day. I prefer to put a few crystals on my tongue, you know, just like a pinch of crystals on my tongue, um, swirl it around in my mouth, maybe chew up some of those crystals. Um, it's almost like a humectant. So when you take it, um, your um, body really absorbs the water that you drink. Um, so almost like an electrolyte type thing. So um, I do this several times a day now. Um, before I drink my water, I'll have a little bit of Celtic salt um, on my tongue. And it's just full of magnesium and so many healthy um, benefits from that salt. So that's why I have it there on the counter to remind myself to you know have a little bit of Celtic salt. Now, Michael likes to have smoothies in the morning. It's a little bit too much fruit for me. That really um, raises my blood gl glucose. So I haven't been having it um, with him, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean his um, Ninja because um, he's kind of a mess with this thing, to be honest with you. Um, you know, the stuff just drips down the side and all that. So I like to get this cleaned up before I stick it back underneath the counter. I told you, well, I know you. Pain holding hands with anxiety for way too long Yeah, I take out the same couch Every Friday when your friends are busy living life Well, I know I miss your old days You're in a different headspace And I know you think it's too late But you can turn around And I know you're at your darkest And I know you think you want him around But you Can you see where it begins to lift up the wax off of your apple? This is the reason why I soak these in um, vinegar. It helps to lift all that up. Now I'm going to show you here in a second that these um, apples have an ungodly amount of wax on them. Um, I'm pretty sure that my husband got these from Costco and they were not organic. Um, he just bought them in a big pack. They're already in a box, you know, so he just picked those up and brought them home and I washed them. But look at the amount of wax that's on these. You could even see where half of it was sitting in the solution and half of it wasn't. So I went ahead and I dried these off and I put them away. Um, but what, I'm going to try a, a trick that somebody told me that if you take them and you just put them like really quickly in some boiling water, it will help to remove that um, wax. And then you can rub them down with a more rough um, cloth right here. I'm using like a diaper type cloth. Um, so you need something a little bit rougher to be able to pull that wax off. But I'm pretty sure that if you buy organic, you're not going to have this issue. Okay, so I washed um, all of Grace's bedding. And you know, anytime I wash it, I've got a lot of mess to clean up. So I've already deep washed the, um, the washing machine. So I put it on a sanitary wash and I got everything cleaned in there. But now I've got to clean out the dryer because her fur just gets everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, vacuum everything out, um, wipe it down. 
Now with this filter, um, today I am just vacuuming it out, but occasionally I'll also go put that in some hot water in the sink um, to, you know, take off some of the scum stuff that comes from um, fabric softeners. Um, that will also clog up your your screen there. So you want to be sure you get that cleaned off every once in a while. So I'm just going to get in here and I'm going to vacuum all this out and I'm going to wipe it all down. And then I'm also going to use that tool attachment to vacuum inside the vent. Um, you know, like I said, her fur is everywhere. and I just don't want, you know, that sitting around because fur begins to smell, um, you know. So anyways, um, and that tool attachment, it doesn't completely fit onto my Zing. I don't have a vacuum that it completely fits onto. However, if you push it on there, it, it causes enough suction that you're able to really get deep down into that vacuum vent and it works perfectly. I still believe in you. Okay, since I have the Zing out, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum here on the, um, the entertainment center, get the speakers all vacuumed down, um, and some of the baseboards around here. This is where all of Grace's bed goes, and um, it gets furry over here. So, and since I removed the covers from the, the bedding, it kind of flew a lot of that fur up around in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get all that vacuumed up. I also did a very large load of all of my throw blankets, so I'll be putting all those back and um, of course I've done pool towels because I do those almost daily and a bunch of um, bathing suits. So I'm going to get all that stuff put up. And then another thing that I'm going to be showing you is a cord cover um, that I'm going to be using on the um, plant light that I have over um, by Figgy. Um, you remember the, the plant light that my daughter got me to go with my fill leaf fig? Um, well, I love that thing, but I did not like the black cord. So um, I'm going to show you how I put one of those up. So leave me a comment below if your husband insists on having these big, large, ugly black speakers in your living room. I cannot stand these things. There has to be a better way. My husband says there's not, but come on. I don't see other people with these big, large black speakers that just collect dust and fur all over them. So anyways, let me know below. I know that Sharby, she and I, you know, I talked to her down in the comments. She and I message a lot. And her husband insists on the same speaker. So we can't be the only ones. Come on. Y'all tell me down in the in the, in the um, comments. Do you guys have these large speakers? If you don't, what do you use for a sound system? So that I can, you know, relay it to my husband. Because I really hate these things.
ask me why I have so many throw blankets because I really can't answer. This one is for the color. Um, if you see it says Merry Christmas on it, but you really can't tell when it's in the basket. And I like the color of it. It just goes with everything in my room. So does the um, tannish color. And then those um, top ones are the ones that Michael and I use every day on the couch. So um, I'm thinking about um, selling the blanket ladder and um, just doing away with that whole section of blankets there and just having the blanket basket, but we'll see. Okay, so let's go ahead and get all of my um, towels um, folded. And in a little bit, I'll go put them out by the pool. But I do, do need to do some cleaning out there first since I had some swimmers. And um, I like to get everything cleaned off. Okay, so you guys saw me put up this round shelf here. I'm liking all the little pretties that I'm getting in to put on there. I've got a few more things that I want to get up there. Well, right here is the plant light that Madeline got me to go right over my figgy. And then down here, I put this little tray and shelf thing. Now I got this from Ikea. The bottom is separate from that top. The top um, of the shelf is, isn't on there. So I have that, this glass thing right here, I have this sitting on top of that. Um, I thought it looked nice together. I saw another YouTuber do it and I have an Ikea right up the road. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do that. So I'm really liking that. I do not have real plants in there. Those are, those are fake for now, but I'm really liking the way this whole little corner is coming together. Only thing I don't like is the black cord. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a cord cover on there right now and see if I have enough to cover up the whole cord going all the way down to the plug. Okay, so the way this works is it comes with these two tracks. This one right here is what you put the cord into and then you're gonna take this sticky tape and you will stick it to your wall, okay? Then you put your cord in there and this right here slides on to it. It's gonna take better eyes than mine to just immediately get this on, but there we go. Slides right onto it. And then wherever they connect, they have little connectors here. So you can connect those and that way it, it looks like one seamless look. I mean, you're gonna have a little bump, but you're not gonna have like a little crack where you can see the cord. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that up there. Now these can be painted to whatever color you want. Um, if you wanna hide it and blend it into your wall, this matches my wall color so well, I'm not going to need to paint it. If we keep talking forever, then I don't get where this thing goes. So sick of waiting for nothing, and all I want is to hold you close. And all my stupid friends try to bring me to my senses But I'd rather be illogical by calling you, I can't let go We had our chances to patch things up again and I can't believe that you let it slip somehow So I get a little drunk on a Friday night With my friends, staying up all night So I don't just lay and think about you It's okay, but I'm all messed up And I found that when you put the tape on here, don't do it the long way. That's what I did there. And, and when you go to pull this, it stretches that tape out if it's too long. So in order for that not to happen, I just went ahead and shortened the tape. And then when I lift it up, it's not pulling up that tape like it was when it was long. This numb tonight, so I don't have to think about it. We blew our chances to patch things up again. And I can't believe that you let me go somehow. So I get a little drunk on a Monday night by myself. Staying up all night so I don't just lay and think about you. It's okay, but I'm all messed up.
Okay, I'm gonna get smart and go ahead and put the tape on while I'm here. And like I said, I'm just gonna do little pieces of tape instead of big long ones. That way the plastic does not stretch. While See I'm how that stretches? Well, if you have a long piece, it gets all lumped up underneath. So it's easier if it's small like this. Be sure you press it on there too. That will make it a little bit easier. It's time to cut my nails and polish them a new color. So I'm having a hard time lifting this up because first of all, I can't see. Second of all, my nails are a little bit too long. There we go. Press that down. All right, let's go put this on the wall. We blew our chances to patch things up again. And I can't believe that you let me go somehow. So I get a little drunk on a Monday night by myself. Staying up all night so I don't just lay and think. so it's not as big of an eyesore it pretty much blends in with the wall once I get the plant there you're really not going to notice it and then down there at the bottom the plants going to be covering all that okay so this is a good cable concealer I'm going to go ahead and link it down below for you you saw me use it over here but I also have it in my mudroom area and I've had it there for two years now and it's, it hasn't budged it's still looking good Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hang up all my clothes and, um, you know, fold up all my jammies, my leisure wear. Do you guys have a lot of leisure wear now? Ever since 2020, I have um, collected a lot of leisure wear. Um, I enjoy wearing it. And, of course, in 2020, we, you know, needed it because, you know, we were stuck in the home. But um, oftentimes I find myself coming home um, after, you know, doing stuff with the kids or the grandkids and I immediately get out of my street clothes and I get into leisure wear. <laughs> so I like to have some of these, um, you know, nicer little sets. Um, I know that Target sells the majority of what I have here and um, they're so soft and, you know, they just feel so nice around the house and somebody knocks on the door, no big deal. You're covered up, you look cute. So um, yeah, just tell me down in the, in the comments, do you guys um, find yourself hanging out in leisure wear longer than what you did before 2020. When we touch, I forget all the endings inside my head. And I rush out of lies. Tonight we'll get there, back to heaven. Okay, so I've got all my cleaning done. So now I'm going to take you into the kitchen and I'm going to show you what I'm making for dinner tonight. Okay, so I'm going to be linking this recipe down for you below. I like to use Meal Lime as my app to um, come up with different recipes. And now that I'm looking for um, vegetarian and vegan recipes, um, you know, I like to have a place where I can go and they can curate a good um, you know, amount of recipes for me. So anyways, this right here is the vegetarian shepherd's pie. It's made with lentils, mushrooms, and carrots. Um, of course, it's got some um, potatoes on the top. So typically, you know, in my diet diet, I wouldn't eat the potatoes because, um, 
you know, it's got a lot of um, starches, carbohydrates, all that, which um, raises my blood sugar. However, um, on the the liver detox, they told me not to pay attention to my blood glucose monitor because I have to have enough nutrients to be able to get through the week. So they do want me to have some um, of these carbohydrates. So that's why I'm, I'm using the potatoes. Instead of the potatoes, I would probably use, not probably, I would definitely use um, cauliflower rice. It tastes very similar to a, a mashed potato. So I'll cook that up and I would put that on top if I wanted to have this without the carbohydrates. So like in the mornings with my exercise routine, I fit that into my morning routine. I've also had to fit in food prep um, into my weekly routine. So um, I usually food prep on Sundays and on Wednesdays. Um, I go to the grocery stores on that day because the foods that I'm buying are um, you know, organic and they just don't last as long. So in order for them to stay fresh, I, I just go twice a week. Um, and then I do my food preps on those days. You guys will have to excuse my Jenny. She's talking to me. She's 21 years old. I try to hush her up, but she puts me in my place and reminds me that she's much older than I am. So, <laughs> okay, Jenny, I hear you. Just a minute. Let me finish here. Okay, so... Anyways, um, I like to food prep um, on those two days so that I have fresh um, things in the refrigerator for us to eat. Um, also, I will um, stack my refrigerator with pre-made um, salads. Um, I eat a lot of salads. The fiber and all that is great for um, you know detoxing and things like that. So I also have like a cabbage um, soup that I put in there and a, a chili, a vegan chili that I stick in there and we just pull that out, you know, for lunches and things like that. And then, like I said, for dinner, I like to make something more like this to where I'm, you know, in the kitchen for, you know, a good 30 minutes um, prepping and getting a good meal made. Um, I do enjoy doing this. I didn't get to do a lot of this when my kids were young because I was raising so many kids. It was just more difficult for me to be able to, you know, really sit down and make a nice meal like this. Um, they had nice meals, don't get me wrong, but you know, I was not standing in the kitchen for, you know, this amount of time making a meal for all those kids. But anyways, now that I'm older and I am an empty nester, nesterish, I say that because I do have, you know, quite a quite a few grandkids and I have at least um, two to four in my home with me on any given day. So um, I'm with grandkids all day. But anyways, back to my dinner. <laughs> so, um, you know, at night I do um, make us a nice fresh meal. Um, and meal lime is excellent for that because you can come up with so many different recipes. They curate your um, your grocery list. Once you put in what you what recipes you want, it'll curate your grocery list. Then I just open up the app and I check off all the things that I have in my refrigerator, and in my pantry, um, in my freezer, so that I'm not repurchasing things. Um, and also I can go in there and say, hey, I've got a lot of chicken in my freezer. So I'll put that in the app and it will curate a bunch of different recipes for me. And then I just choose what, you know, the ones that I want. And then it'll curate the grocery list for me. So um, I really enjoy that app. So all this is, um, all this to say that I have had to add in food prep into my weekly routine. So on, mon on Sundays and on Wednesdays, I will... Um, you know, get my um, recipes all ready and um, figure out my grocery list, go to the grocery store, get my stuff, and then anything that needs to be prepped when I get home, chopped up, you know, cleaned, all that to put in the refrigerator, I will do that. I also use those two days to clean out my refrigerator and, you know, um, you know, have everything nice and neat in there and orderly because when things get orderly and um, mixed up in there, oftentimes those fruits and those vegetables go bad because I'm not seeing it. So since I've been going to the grocery store more often, twice a week instead of once a week or maybe even once every other week, my fruits and my vegetables are fresher because I see them and I'm using them um, as I need them. So I'm going to link this recipe again below for you. Um, it was a good one. Um, I've had better, but I'm, you know, I'm not a vegan. So, um, you know, I, I do like a little bit of meat, but um, this is good. If you're a vegan, if you're a vegetarian, this is really good. And, um, you know, even when we're on our regular um, diet, 
um, Michael and I will try to have um, vegan or vegetarian um, meals once or twice a week and just lay off um, meat at least once or twice a week. So um, these recipes are great for that. I see you struggle like butterflies in water can't get moving forward I see your shoulders mm, weighted down by armor you don't need that protection I will walk on glass I will run ten thousand miles and All right, as I go ahead and dig this up, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, would you please give me a big thumbs up? And if you're interested in keeping up with my health journey, I hope that you'll follow me over on Instagram. Just last week, I was very vulnerable and I shared a story of recovery from um, a prescribed dose of benzodiazepine. If you've never heard my story or if you know someone who is struggling to get off of a benzo, I hope that you'll head over to my Instagram and you can watch my testimony of hope after torment. It wasn't an easy story to share and I do qu get quite emotional, but it's an important story to share. So I hope that um, if you would like to see that video that you'll head over to my Instagram and see it. Okay, friends, I will see you again in next Sunday's video. Until then, stay blessed, my friends. <laughs>